All right, here we go. We just parked and we're headed to the trailhead. Gonna hike Whiteface and Esther today. Doing it a little different this time. Let's hope it's uh, getting it out of its system now. stuff ready for our white face and ester hike tomorrow we have our daylight plus bags clothes to wear in the morning got our trekking poles lots of food we typically just snack all day that's what we do for lunch in the morning we'll end up just making these just for breakfast we have our Sawyer products. I heard there wasn't too many places to fill up, so we'll end up carrying some water, but we'll bring the, these just in case. They always say to bring a flashlight just in case, some homemade bug spray, always have a paper map, and of course a battery charger with our cord as we end up using a lot of our battery in our phone between taking videos and I do also use a map, um, a map app. But that's about it. We're excited to go. We're doing it different this year. We're actually in a trailer. This is a fun trip. Hey, babe. Almost forgot. We also bring this little uh, med kit because you should always have a first aid kit with you when you go on a hike. Another staple on our hikes are our Merrill boots. We tried a couple different brands out and they didn't work for us. So these are the ones that worked best. We've had them on a few hikes now and they have held up great. Um, waterproof, they're comfortable, haven't gotten blisters. So definitely, uh, definitely a keeper. So we have real coffee cups and a coffee maker. We have a coffee maker. Look at that. With coffee. I don't have to boil water. I don't have to worry about instant coffee. Plug her in, put the cup in, and away we go. And then we have a kitchen. And on this trip, we have a refrigerator and a bathroom. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and I should also mention that we have a bed. Okay. But like, check this bed out. We have memory foam. This is gonna be the most comfortable camping trip ever. Definitely the most comfortable before a hike. So, pretty excited about it. Okay, so excited about these. We have some brownies. I hope they're We're good. Try to make them. We got them at uh, Sierra Trading. All right, what do we have to I'm do? I'm trying to. Oh, there's a heating pad. Yeah. 
Oh man, this is cool. Alright, All right. so insert, or we gotta open the bag, remove all the contents. Okay, let's open it up. Open it up. There's a fill line? There's a fill line. There's right a fill there. line. Okay, that's easy. So we'll go with that. Alright. So now. Open the N NH N X H bag. Heating pad. Vegan brownies, guys. I am so excited. Place I hope they the taste good. Between <laughs> dessert pouches. Okay. There. So I just take this out. Okay. I'm assuming. Yeah. And then what? It says put them in between. Okay. So we're gonna put it in between. Just mm -hmm. like that, make a sandwich. Yep. Do you have to shake it or anything? And then seal quickly, as soon as you put it in there. Okay. So, we're gonna put this down in here. Seal quickly. Seal quickly. Alright, and then what? Let steam and heat for three to five minutes. Carefully remove dessert pouches, open and enjoy. Oh my goodness, what? all right. We'll be back. Oh my gosh, it's actually doing something. Look at the steam. We gotta set a timer for three minutes. What? Three to five minutes. This is the coolest thing ever. Wow. And you didn't even need filtered water because the water doesn't even touch the brownie. Amazing. This is amazing. I'm gonna be so disappointed if it doesn't taste good because this is brilliant. All right, we have our soy milk and the brownies are done. I'm excited. I can't believe how hot it actually got. All right, what do we have? For warm? Yeah, sorta. Of. Oh yeah, that's so weird because it was so hot. All right, well, what, do we just tear them open? Yeah, here, I'm gonna tear here. open for you. Oh, it's, is it in another bag or no? Okay. Sorry. That's okay. There we go. You, All don't right. want, you don't want that, do you? Yeah, nope. All right, get yours out. We'll try them at the same time. Okay, stand by. Oh, I see a little bit of like chocolate. chocolate yeah, there's there chocolate something. chips. Okay. okay. I feel like I should just use my fingers. Okay. It's like astronaut ice cream. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Mm. They okay. could be. They could be worse. A little dry. <laughs> but we got milk. So here we are at the trailhead. We parked right there. And this looks like this is where we start. Off we go. So far, it's pretty easy. Although we've seen that eventually, pretty soon, it should just be a steep incline for a little while. Yep, so we're waiting for that to happen. But right now, this is a nice trail. Pretty cool.
They weren't kidding when they said the trail was like straight, straight up. up. Definitely a workout. Not cold anymore. <laughs> so we just got to this little area. It's like a lookout. It's gorgeous here. Turn it around. It is beautiful. So did I. Look how beautiful this is. All right, so it is currently, what time is it, hon? We have made it to Esther, it's 7.55 a.m. 2.33 miles. We've gone 2.33 miles from the, I think it was the ARSC trailhead where we started. And there's our path to Esther Mountain. There's a cairn right here, and we're gonna go that way. And then, once we get to there, we're gonna come back down, and then we're gonna go that way, right up that way. And that's gonna take us to White Face Mountain. So, how you doing, honey? You doing okay? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's do it. So we're on Esther, and there is a lot of mud. Not really sure what that maneuver was there. <laughs> that was called the flamingo itch. Uh, here we go. Well, we made it up to Esther. The view is just fog, which is really a bummer. As you can see. Honey. I am very muddy. I know, look at. It is very muddy, this trail. Here's the marker. So, we're on our way up to Whiteface. We just got down from Esther and it was very muddy. But, on a positive note, the sun is actually starting to come out. And uh, hopefully it will uh, be a great view up there. Here we are making our way back from Esther. So as we're walking the trail, up to Whiteface, we just so happened to come to a fork in the road. He's back there making dad jokes. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> just stepped in mud after I said that. <laughs> jokes on you. Jokes on me. Dad joke right there. <laughs> Honestly though, this trail, it's been a very pleasurable hike. It hasn't been that bad. <laughs> muddy but we expect it rained yesterday <laughs> don't fall in the mud there's mud right in front of you so as we're walking on this trail this is where the ski lifts come up and you can see Maybe get a, get a better view here in a second. Oh wow, look at this. This is beautiful. 
This is awesome, huh? Well, I'm gonna step up here. Yeah, I know. So we're slowly making our way to the top of Whiteface Mountain. And my poor wife stepped. I fell in a hole. And I had to pretty much pull her out of the hole. Here's the wall. Here's the wall. There should be a road up there. Very cool. All right, well, we're right by the road. The road's right on the other side of this wall. Yep. Right, right there is the wall. there just following this right here up look at the fog just coming in like that it's crazy you got these yellow marks to let you know you're right on path wow look at that but over here it's quite a view